this video, I'm going to show you how to use Premiere Pro to create fake camera movements such as zoom, pan, tilt, and rotate for both videos and photos. The first effect we're going to look at is zoom, and I'm going to use this video clip of the waves hitting the shore to show you how to zoom in, and then this photo of this dog to show you how to zoom out. To start animating your zoom, you got to click on the clip that you're going to use first. So in this case, I'm on this Nature 3137 clip, but my playhead is still over this dog clip. So I'm going to move this all the way to the very start of that clip so we can see that that's actually my waves hitting the shore clip, this one right here. When you click on your clip, this effect controls panel should open up. If it doesn't, it means you're just clicked on something else maybe, and you can click on effect controls up here, or you can find it within these little arrows right here. Now, you can see that that panel, nothing opened up. So when you do that, you gotta click back on your clip and then it'll open up. For zoom, the primary thing we care about is scale. And if we see here, right now it's at 100%. This clip is at 100%. If I click and drag to the left to make this number smaller, you can see that the clip gets smaller or zoomed out. If I click and drag to the right, it's gonna zoom it in or scale it up. You can also just click on it and type in what you want. So I'll type in like 50. And then you can also, if you wanna scale it this way, you can click on the word motion here, and then you can click and drag on the corners here to scale up or down as well. And you can see as I do that, the numbers change as well. And so to zoom in, what we wanna do is move our playhead to the start of our clip, click on it again, make sure you're clicked on the clip that you're gonna be using. And in my case, it's at 100% right here and it fills this up your first step is to fill the frame, okay? So that might mean scaling up to 200%, it might mean scaling it down, whatever you have to do to make sure that yours fills the frame, that's what we want to start, right at the very start here. And then all we're gonna do to start our animation of the zoom is to click on this little clock right here, this toggle animation, click, and that's gonna put a keyframe right here at the very start of your clip. Usually it looks like a diamond like this, but we only see kind of half of it because it's at the very, very start. And then all we're gonna do is slide our playhead down the clip. So you can do it down here and kinda of go close to the end of your clip. And now we're gonna click on this one right here. Boom, and that's to add another keyframe. So now we have one here. This is where the animation is gonna start. And then this is where it's gonna end. So we don't want the scale to be the same. So in this case, I'm gonna scale this up. I'm gonna make it a larger number so it zooms into that spot. Now, I'm gonna make it pretty extreme. Most of the time for these to make them look good, it doesn't need to be a huge change. Like 100% to 200% is huge. You won't probably, it's gonna look better if it's not quite that much. I'm just gonna exaggerate it so we can see what's going on. To go from keyframe to keyframe here, you can click this little, little arrow here that jumps back to our first keyframe. So if you wanna change that one, that's an easy way to click back and get it, and then click to our other one by doing this. So now let's just slide this over and preview it so we can see now that that's what our zoom looks like but this keyframe still isn't at the very end. So let's just, for example, if I move this over, it's gonna zoom to that point, and then after that keyframe, it's just gonna stop zooming because we haven't told it to keep zooming. So once you're satisfied with where it zooms to, then just click on this keyframe and drag it all the way to the right. So now we have one at the very start of our clip and one at the very end. The only thing you have to be concerned about with the one at the end is if by chance you add a, like a dissolve or some sort of transition, now, if I zoom in, in the middle of that transition, you can see the water is still zooming, still zooming, still zooming, and it's gonna stop zooming right there. So if you add a transition, then just make sure when you're on your clip that you just take that keyframe and drag it to the end again. And now it's gonna keep zooming all the way through the transition. To zoom out, it's literally just the opposite. So we're gonna click on this one right now, and I'm gonna click on toggle animation right here to get a, our first keyframe. And then I'm gonna move down my clip and I'm gonna click on add keyframe right here to add the other one. And instead of making this one larger this time, we can try and scale this back. But since I already zoomed it out, there's no more room for me to go because now I have those the black like around the edges unless you want that. But I'm gonna go to the point where it just fills the frame. So 76% right there. And then I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna use this little arrow to go to my first one, and I'm gonna scale this one up. The first one I'm gonna scale up. Now, if you notice here, something that you might have a problem with when you're zooming is your the alignment of your image. You might wanna change that. So that's where position comes in. This one, if you click and hold, you can move it to the left or to the right, 
and this one you can click and you can move it up if you go left and if you slide right you can move your image down so you can try and line it up like that and see how it looks to see if it, it looks good all the way through but if it's zooming out zooming out zooming out and then oh look you see this right here that's where animating position comes into play but animating position is really just what we're going to learn next because that's how you animate pan and tilt so remember the first thing we're going to do is click with our playhead on our image that we want and then click on the image that we're going to pan and remember in this case I need to fill this frame so I'm going to scale this one up but if I scale it just to be the frame size for a pan if I'm going to pan so pan is moving left and right I'm going to get these spot like the black bars that are on the side and you don't want that so we're going to actually have to scale it to be larger than the frame so I'm going to go to about 275 something like that and now you see if I pan to the left there's some space I have some space to move and if I pan to the right there's some space for me to move so you got to scale it up so it's larger than your frame for pan and for tilt and then after that all the steps are pretty much the exact same as we used for zoom except instead of using scale we're going to use position so let's just move our playhead close to the start of our clip and then click on the toggle animation right here that'll put the keyframe in then let's just move close to the end and add another keyframe and basically all we're going to decide here is which way we are going to pan so in this case I'm going to just maybe slide this one over to the left here and that's going to be my starting point and then I'm going to use this little arrow again to go to my next keyframe and that might be good maybe I'll move it over just a little bit more and then now if we preview if I go back to the other one and push play we can see that it's just panning across that way and then just like we did for zoom once you have your numbers set just take this first keyframe and drag it to the very start and then take this one and drag it to the very end for tilt we're going to do the exact same thing except we're going to move the image up and down instead of left and right so we have to fill the frame first so click on your clip and I'm going to scale this up so it fills the frame then I'm actually going to position it first so I'm going to use this right one this time not the left and right this one for up and down and I'm going to click and drag to the right to kind of move the image down then I'm going to click the toggle animation button right here to add the first keyframe where I want the animation to start I'm going to go down to the end over here and click add keyframe then I'm going to slide this to the left to move it up I'm not going to go super far though like look if I go really far and then we preview this I'll even move this over a little bit if I preview it that's way too fast so there's two ways to slow it down one is we can drag these keyframes out so they're further apart so the further your keyframes are apart the slower it's gonna go so like look if I went really close together here and we tried to preview this that's where we go really fast right so we spread them out to slow it down plus the difference in your numbers will also slow it down so in this case I have it starting here instead of having it ending way here I'm just gonna peel it back so it ends maybe like right there so now if we preview it it's a much slower moving image which usually looks a lot better even that might be too fast so I'm gonna to go to here and I'm gonna peel it back even more and you can see that looks a lot better the last fake camera movement we're gonna look at is rotate and it's exactly the same as the other ones except we're messing with rotation right here so we're gonna click over our clip click on it and then we're gonna click the toggle animation button right here near the start of our clip go to the end add a keyframe and we're gonna mess with one or both of these so I'm gonna click this little arrow to go to this one and I'm just gonna click and rotate this way now if you see this exact same thing happened now where we have these the black here because when we rotate it it opens up these little gaps so that's where scale comes back into play so I'm going to scale this up to make sure it fills the frame after I've rotated it to what I want and then I'm going to skip ahead to this other one I'm just going to go the other way this time so I'm going to rotate it this way and you can see I rotated it more extreme so there's more black that shows up so in that case I'm gonna have to scale it up even more so I'm gonna scale it all the way up to there 135 and that now fills everything so if we preview I go back here and I preview it's now gonna rotate all the way through and I don't get any black that shows and then just like last time drag your keyframe out and drag your keyframe out and now it's gonna animate throughout the whole entire clip
And then obviously for a photo, it's exactly the same. And then I guess the last thing that you should be aware of is that you can combine all of these together if you need. So I'm just gonna do a quick one here. I'm gonna click on this, toggle animation for scale and zoom this one in. But as you can see, it gets cut off. So I'm then gonna add position here to pan or tilt it as I need. I'm gonna add one down here. So at the start, I think it looks good over here. So I'm not gonna mess with my position uh, at the start. But at the end, this keyframe, I'm gonna move it over. So I'm gonna pan it to the left a little bit, and then I'm gonna tilt it down. So it kinda zooms into that spot instead. So if we watch it, you can see that now it zooms over to that spot instead. And then just for the sake of showing everything, I'm gonna also add one for rotation here and there, and I'm just going to rotate it at the start. But again, we have these black spots, so I'm gonna zoom it in right there. And then now when we play it, we can see that it rotates. Oh wait, that was not good there. It kinda goes out of whack because we had an extra keyframe here for some reason. I'm gonna get rid of that and go back to the start here. So now we can see that it zooms and it rotates and it kind of pans and tilts all at the same time. And that's about it. That's how you make fake camera movements in Premiere Pro. If you got something out of this video or you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I will catch you next time.